Feathered's medieval church has a hidden secret. Within the 18th century roof, a medieval oak framed roof survives. It has now been dated as the oldest timber framing in all Ireland. Inside the nave of the church today. Let's head up into the roof. A lath and plaster ceiling is attached to arched oak frame roof trusses. Later pine roof, the light colour, earlier oak roof, dark colour. The later pine roof above has a lower pitch than the steeper oak roof below. Here you see an arch brace truss with the big arch brace jointed to rafter and collar. Seesawing. Medieval timbers were often rip sawn lengthwise from each end. This collar in the church roof was clearly converted from the log by seesawing. Sawn from each end, the two sets of saw marks overlap in the central V shape. When sawn, the timber was this way up, with the V showing the position of a central overlap. Carpenters used scribe methods and mortise and tenon joints to frame trusses. From above, here is one of the ceiling battens with attached lath and plaster ceiling. Race knifed marks indicate this is axe-hewn pine exported to Ireland from the Baltic. The upper part of the oak trusses were cut off to fit the later roof. Behind, in the later 18th century roof, is a pegged half dovetail joint. The later pine roof, a chiselled three at the peak indicates truss three. Over the existing slated roof. This is the evidence we see now, so let's step back in time and look at the building of the earlier roof. Battlemented wall walks were common in Ireland, even on churches. The carpenters have just raised the oak trusses and purlins. Next, common rafters. Then battens and roof slates. It is possible that there was no plastered vault and the oak trusses were left visible. If plastered, ceiling battens are nailed onto the underside of the arch brace trusses. Then thin lats are nailed across the battens and the whole vault can be plastered. 300 years pass. Around 1800, the Church of Ireland drastically remodelled many churches, including feathered. First they built up the gable wall. Battlements partly removed, the remainder is left to support the new roof. The tops of the oak trusses are removed. Principal rafters are cut just above the collar. The new pine trusses are installed. Trusses were made on the ground in a nearby carpenter's yard. Common rafters added. Roof slated. Inside the ceiling is renewed. Back to the present. Oh, I'm 